Today I'm going to explain how to play Warcraft 3. Okay? Now, let's look at Warcraft 3 announcement 2002. Okay? Yeah. Here we go. Like food. Okay. This is a game. There we go. Yeah, let's get to this gameplay. Select Thrall and order him to move to the banner in the middle of the encampment. Okay. Move. Whatever. So, I don't know if you've ever, time. like, stacked a lot of dominoes. Okay. Have you ever done that? Let's look this up. Have you ever stacked a lot of dominoes? Okay. Let me actually go on YouTube. Um, toy dominoes. Okay. Toy Domino. There we go. Okay. We need like a lot of dominoes. Here we go. 25,000 dominoes. This is what I'm talking about. You ever done this? You set up dominoes. And then once they look beautiful. And you've lined them all up. Exactly how you want. Okay. Yeah, here's 25,000. That's great. That's just great. I've never seen this video, by the way. But, the idea is, you line up the dominoes, okay? There's something really complicated. And then, someone gets to poke the first domino, and all the dominoes fall down. And we basically just destroy everything that was created. And this is immensely fun for the human experience. Okay, a lot of people do this. Just because it's so fun to set something up, and smash it all down. Okay? And that is pretty much the same with the Warcraft 3 experience, right? The idea of Warcraft 3 is that back in 2002, a couple of nerds living in some kind of office said, you know, man, I really like Diablo. And man, I really like StarCraft. Wouldn't it be great if I force people to play them at the same time. And somebody else is like, no, no, man, that's a bad idea. So they built Diablo, kind of. But they were all, they didn't, they couldn't agree on it. So the guy who was making Diablo, he quit the company and he left to make Guild Wars. Okay, he's like, screw you guys, I, I want to make Guild Wars. So the people left the company and said, okay, let's try to turn this Diablo game into StarCraft. So they tried to make it into StarCraft in like the last three weeks. You can actually read about this online. Mm. Warcraft 3, um, 2002 story developer, right? Here we go. This guy. Um, yeah, this guy. We had no unit movement logic. Everything was just really lame. It was all temporary stuff. Because when we switched, before there was no NPC side. There was no automatic behaviors. It was all supposed to be multiplayer. All of a sudden we needed behaviors and had nothing. And so they had no time to piece together all of these things. This person hacked up swarm behaviors while he's developing Warcraft 3, okay? And so this guy, like, tries to make these little units, like, act as a team. And I guess they're just all automatic, is what it sounds like. Like, he doesn't even, he's not even sure. Like, are we making Diablo or are we making Starcraft? And he's, like, stressed as balls. And he's like, how do I... You know, how do I make this into a game? And they're all stressed about it. And that's when this guy says, you know, there's no pathfinding, much less AI, or any sort of tactical or strategic gameplay, nothing. The idea was just to show the 3D engine and the new overview camera, you know, the general look and feel of the game, and we did it. And so suddenly, you know, they're like, wait a second, okay, this game needs to actually be playable. 
right? You like this picture? That's the that's the same UI of War Smash, okay? Anyway, um, so basically that's going on in 2002, and finally they they all stress out and they work really hard and they make this game that's based around the idea that you have two people who get who have gold and lumber but no oil. It's kind of like Warcraft 2, but a little bit simpler. And, um, yeah, anyway, they made all this stuff to try to go along with that. So you could have, like, one guy is the humans and, like, one guy is maybe the orcs. Okay, we clearly didn't put an orc player into this. Let's do that. Um, okay. We'll put an orc player into this. That's great. Okay, great. So we have this orc player over here, and, uh... I'm just trying to make sure the system is going to run. So, yeah, basically you get you get one person, you know, and you can be these different races, like humans and orcs kind of game. I mean, it's supposed to be Warcraft, you know. Um, but also, they're going to have, like, hero characters, okay? So it's like you're playing Diablo at the same time as you're playing Warcraft or Starcraft or whatever. Um, I'll just call this map how to play okay so let's launch this into the game here and we'll talk about this a little bit so yeah they had this idea why don't we make a game where you have to play Diablo and Starcraft at the same time because they're both popular now I'm pretty sure what like if you pitch oh, this words. idea yes, me lord. let's take the the yes, these two lord. big games and play them at the same time oh, to someone then. They would probably tell you that was an objectively Almighty. stupid idea, and they would not fund your game idea Justice at all, right? It's like, am I playing Diablo here, or am I playing StarCraft, you know? What's what's really going on? Why am I allowed to turn a vulnerable and he's not? Like, this is completely imbalanced and ridiculous. But, you know, they did the best they could do. It's like setting up the dominoes, right? They set up all the dominoes, and they were out of time, and they said, okay, wow, let's just give it a shot. And they made that, okay? Now, how you play the game, and this is this is something players discovered over a number of years, okay? And this, this took a lot of effort for people to figure this out, okay? The way to play Warcraft 3 is that you go to the characters, and you go to their statistical values, and you make them bigger, okay? Like, we can make, this is my hero character, like, now he's bigger, okay? And along with being bigger, you find their hit points, not these other irrelevant stats. You find their hit points, you make those bigger, okay? And you give them your own name. Like, definitely, uh, it's really me. You know, you give them, like, some kind of great name. And then you need to make them, like, shoot fireballs and stuff. So that's where you go to their ability list. And I don't. what does that even mean, their ability list? But you just go in there and you just put fireball, okay? And you make them have, like, really good fireball abilities, and some kind of like metamorphosis abilities and just all the like all the best abilities you make this character that's like your guy who just has like everything that's cool you know somebody had chain lightning like a lightning skill you need to have that one that's really cool and I don't know what else is cool about uh, someone lava spawns right so you have your big guy it's really me and then, um, you know, that's pretty much how that goes, I think. Uh, we could go ahead and we could test this. And then kind of like knocking over the dominoes, right? Once you're really powerful at the game, it's great. Every kid wants this, okay? Now I, I am, am not bigger afraid. and better than everyone More else. And my it's, it's my own little play pretend world. And I can summon all kinds More of honor. fire monsters, okay? And now... There's no competition anymore. Like, I just objectively beat this guy, like, hands down. Okay, it's really me. Like, I just win. And and that's when you realize, like, well, maybe I'm not good enough yet. So, like, what I need to do is I need to be able to build, like, what what's something that's really good? So you find characters in the game that are, like, already in the game, but that are better. And most of those are undead characters, okay? Like, let's be honest, right? If you want to have a really awesome vampire lord, okay, you put this guy in there. And obviously you need to make him a little bit bigger too, because like, that's how you make them look cooler, right? 
So I'm pretty sure this is how every kid played Warcraft 3 in 2003. And then you need to have this guy because what even is that thing? That's amazing. And then you need to have, um, okay, this one right here. I, I, over time, kids find out that this character, because he's the final boss of the game, is actually better than all the other characters. So you always need him on your team too, okay? And once you do that, right, then you press play. And then you have a really good game. Um, but the key becomes... Can you get your opponent to I set up more dominance, right? Because if I just mount. if I just I have better things to do. take all my characters and I run them all over here to the other side of the map, and we just with our with my characters we just do battle right now, okay? I'll tell you what's gonna happen, okay? I get to have all the cool things and meteors, literal meteors, okay? Like what's even going on, right? I forgot, I forgot me over here. Um, yeah, we get to have all these meteor characters and all this stuff. Like, literally all the cool characters can summon meteors, okay? Hands down, that's a requirement. And they even throw meteor. Okay, the final boss, like, throws meteors, right? Like, it's really cool. And that's when you realize it's not enough dominoes, right? So this is the point where most kids learn, okay, the next step to playing Warcraft 3 is to actually get your opponent to have more dominoes to knock down. And there are two ways to do that, really, okay? You can try to cheat to give your opponent infinite money, but sometimes their AI is so stupid, they don't know how to do that. So this is kind of where the player experience uh, split into two, there, there's kind of two metas, right? Two different ways to play. One of them is to actually enable the AI to correctly function for your opponent. Um, but in general, that doesn't always work. So the other option, obviously, and you know, sometimes it can work, right? Because obviously the problem here is that my opponent needs to know that he's the orcs and he needs to be on an opposing team so that he really understands what's going on. And I'm pretty sure if you do that, he'll figure it out. So some players, they get that far and they're like, oh, okay, I figured it out. A lot of players, what you do is you just click around in the world editor and you put more buildings down, right? And those are, those are really kind of, it's a turning point in the player experience, right? Are you going to place more buildings down or are you going to use the cheat codes to actually, like, per game, make the opponents make more things. So I ended up, I, I learned to be one of the cheat code players. So if you do this, this can make, you can get the computer guy over here to set up a lot more dominoes. As you can see, we can hear him sawing together these dominoes right now for me. And this is great. Okay, this is how you play Warcraft 3. Because if you can get them to build enough of these things, eventually they'll actually like make more things for you to blow up with your team, okay? And this is, this is the part where it gets really fun because if you can hit, get them to hit critical mass, they haven't done yet, right? If I attack them right now, they're, they're just all gonna die. But if you can get them to hit critical Time mass, waiting. then at some point you can actually just attack this critical mass and this can go on for hours, okay? While you just smash that critical mass with your superpowers, and you just, you just kind of revel in this moment of how good you are, okay? And that's what Warcraft 3 is. It's a game where you get someone else to set up the board, and then you blow it up because you're better than them, right? It's really fun. I'm, I'm actually waiting here. Okay, this guy is taking too long, so we're gonna try to, we're gonna try to get him to start. You know, figure out, figure out the deal here, man. Oh, I hear he's calling his little people are on battle okay here we go yeah he was too slow setting up the dominoes so yeah I grew tired of waiting okay I don't know how loud this is for you guys can is, can you not hear me I'm gonna turn it down yeah so anyway uh, we're we're smashing the enemy's base to the oblivion right and it lets us enjoy like, literally just how awesome I am that I thought of this. Okay, like, I am the smartest map developer because I thought of this, and I get to feel good about it, and you probably didn't think of it, but really, that's what the game is. Like, I think a lot of kids thought of this. And the more you destroy people, it's Diablo, so when you kill little people, you get more powerful, because, you know, it's kind of like Diablo, and it's kind of like StarCraft. It's like all the different ideas just thrown in one place at the same time for no particularly good reason, okay? And that's pretty much what the game of Warcraft 3 is and how you play it. And so this gets into, a lot of people said that Warcraft 3 Reforged 
is actually the worst game of all time. And I find this really entertaining, or worst rated at least. Because it's like they, didn't, they don't know why this is the worst rated game of all time. And so one thing that I would like to cover with this video is exactly why. Because I can tell you exactly why. Okay, and this is, this is really straightforward to me. Okay? The reason why the people trying to remaster this game would make it be the worst remaster of all time, or whatever you think it is, okay, is because the people who are remastering the game are incredibly good at it, right? And what that means, what it means to be good at the game is to be someone who is the, the domino flicker of the first domino. You go up to the game and you change it and you blow it up so that you feel good about yourself, right? That's how you play the game. And so if you get 30 people in a room who are really good at this game, what that means is that they're all going to go into the code of how it's put together and they're going to blow it up and they're going to feel good about it. <laughs> right? I mean, that's what I would do. <laughs> okay? Uh, to be honest, I can't even stand the suspense of not finishing this right now. I got to finish this. Okay, give me a second. Okay, let's see. So, obviously, I am the greatest, better than everyone. I will win. Okay, oh, he thought he could resurrect his guy. Oh, he's stunned with my fireball. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're toast. All right. Man Roth is the stupid guy who's he loses. He's a loser in the storyline. That's why his health bar's low. All right. Um, let's see. So, yeah, we're going to make more meteors, okay? Yeah. Where yeah, shoot him with lightning. Yeah. They had lightning earlier in the game. Now I have the lightning. I am just better than them. I'm better in every single way. Okay? I'm better in every single way. There you go. Yeah. Blind. We even got that one. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. And any good any good mobile game developer knows you need to have a little fanfare when the player wins at whatever it is you're trying to get them to learn how to do, okay? That was my fanfare we just had right there. I'm the winner, okay? I win. So one of the things I almost kind of forgot to cover is how this game that I've described is plays out when you actually interact with other human beings, right? So when you're interacting with these other human beings, what you have to do is trick them into setting up the board while you blow it up. And that's really non-trivial, right? Because generally, the human experience, the other player, isn't going to want to play your map if you are the winner by default, right? So what you have to do is actually, in order to trick them into doing that, you need to use the word balance. You need to fake that there is some kind of balance. And the way that you do that is by taking a character like this Tychondrius character and making him small and calling it Tiny Dreadlord. Okay? And this, because he is so small, now you might be able to convince someone that it's really not that overpowered because it's just not that big. Right? And so that's one of the keys to really trying to get other people to play the game with you is tiny dreadlords, right? If you have tiny dreadlords in your game, uh, the probability of someone else playing a game with you while you're the one who has the tiny dreadlord goes up because they're less offended by how big your dreadlord is, right? And so this becomes an art form of, you know, how easily can you convince another human being to actually join your game and play it with you? So, as I was saying, Warcraft 3 is a game, and the, the way to play it is by stacking the deck in your favor, okay? And just basically then you go up to the game, and you just kind of destroy it, and you make yourself feel good about it, because you're the winner with the victory fanfare, okay? And so, 
I think maybe that's the problem with Reforged, is that all the developers are good at this game, so they all are in the same room together, and they all did a really good job, exactly what they knew how to do from a world editor, which is to go in there and make something you can feel good about and just kind of crush the entire game using a board that someone else set up, ideally a computer that's not even a real smart person, and you just smash that. And then the next step of this game, okay, and this is, this is the fun part where it gets really good, okay? The next step of this game is that you need to go online and get someone else to play the game with you, okay? So that you can actually, human to human, get to enjoy how much better you are than other people, okay? So... Uh, oh, I need to install a bonjour. Look at this. They've literally smashed this whole game with weird domino things that don't even make any sense to me. Like, what is this even asking me to do? I've played this online like 1,600 times already. Okay, basically, it's a virus. That is a good one. You know, virus is one of the really entertaining abilities. I think the abominations have that. It's a good ability to put in there. Like, now there's no other people in the game. Why did I do that? All right, so let me just click this button. And, you know, just a couple of flickering uh, things that don't even make any sense. Um, so you get what I'm saying here, right? Is it's a game, and what makes it really fun is when you get to have this experience of actually playing against someone else in your little world. And so in order to do that, we need to find the little world that we just drew. And now we can just jump right in no programming no that stupid idiotic waste of time no you just take your little world that you drew okay where did we even save this thing did we save it what's it called uh yeah i saved it right there saved it it's called how to play um but here's the problem unfortunately uh yeah so you you learn this too as a player this is also how to play the game uh, you need to make the you need to make the other player able to be a user. That way, it can be a uh, human. That's pretty important. Um, okay, and you give it a good name like serious business battles. You know, something that like you, you know just something that gets kind of catchy but doesn't really mean anything. Okay, and then you get um, uh, yeah you name your game join fast. Okay, and then. Um, yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to refresh this uh, list here. So, yeah, let me just close out of that. Sometimes, actually, I think you have to restart the game to refresh that little list. So we'll just refresh that list really fast here. Um, in fact, you know, I think maybe the other thing I should do, to be totally honest with you... Well, no, it doesn't matter. All right. Um, yeah, so you just, you just click play over here. You just launch the game. And you get somebody to join in the game with you. Which we're, we're close to. We're close to this, okay? Um, but yeah, so you create a game of this, and uh, you need to find your serious business battles once, once you uh, once you make that uh, serious business battles. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So you name your game Join Fast, okay, and you'll learn that from other players because they'll name their game Join Fast, and you actually host the serious business battles, okay. And we got to get somebody to join this game called Join Fast, okay. This is. Uh, this is serious business right here. Serious business. Somebody better join my game. Come on, people. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where are you? There's got to be somebody out there who wants to join Redder's game. Man. All right. So, there aren't as many players as there were 15 years ago. But, they added this general chat... Uh, you can maybe talk to people. I hosted a game called Join Fast. New custom map. Please join. Okay, here we go. We're going to get somebody to join this map right now. Um, and then we can show them. We, I, can, I can show them my experience. Okay, and this is step two of how you play Warcraft 3. Uh, is once you've created the experience you want, you actually get to engage with other people uh, with your experience. Uh, going fast now. It's a new custom game. Oh 
we go. Okay, we got to get somebody in this game right now because I'm still recording. You know, this, this is still rolling. Um, we're getting close, though. We're getting really close. Let's see. Okay, talk to my man. Talk to my man. I don't know what these people are talking about, to be honest. What are they talking about? Everybody's talking about Korean map hacks. I don't know. Yeah, anyway, eventually someone's going to join this. So, you know, one of the things you have to do, uh, I think, is you actually close the slot and you open the slot and you see if that can get somebody. Maybe you invite some of your friends to actually play it with you. I don't know. Uh, let's see if any. It looks like nobody on my friends list is playing this game right now, unfortunately. But, yeah, so that's what you do. Um... Man, why is nobody joining my game? We just need one. We just need one one player. Uh, someone please join my game and help me test this new map. Test a new map. Uh, it is called Join Fast. Okay. There you go. Join fast on US East. Uh, do I need to tell him I'm on US East server? I might need to do that. I'm not really sure. Yeah. And then the other thing in Warcraft 3 is you always need to have a chat bubble where you can argue about politics. But that's for later. That's you, that's like you know how when you when you're learning chess, they don't teach you about the how the grandmasters play. Okay? That's the same as how you don't need to know about talking about politics on this game in order to start playing it. So, yeah, looks like we're not getting another human right now, unfortunately, to play this with us. But um, in general, right, in general, what would happen would be you get another person to join this. And it'd be a lot like when you're fighting against um, that computer. But uh, unfortunately, um, we're not getting a human to join, so we don't get to have that experience. But... You know, this is where sometimes maybe you force your friend to join. You get somebody you know, you know, to try to play it with you. And you work it out, and pretty soon you get them in the game. And so that's kind of like what Blizzard's team is doing with this, is then the, you get you get other people, okay, to join your game, to, to, to get the new version of Warcraft that they had. They got to have this experience of smashing, so they could feel really good like that. Um, so this actually gets to uh, my project that I've started doing, uh, and this is this is actually how you win at Warcraft. Okay, is once you've learned how this is all goes together, uh, eventually you get to a point that what you what you do is uh, you, you actually just put the whole game. Where in a new environment, in a new container, where it's actually easier for you to break it. Okay, and so I made a version of this game where you can't even attack. It's great. I broke literally everything. I am the greatest breaker of the game. It doesn't even load. It takes like 30 minutes to load, and then you can't attack. Just, just wait. This is, this is going to be epic. Okay, this is going to be epic right here. I'm, I'm breaking the game better than them. And so this is where... I am actually, see it doesn't even load TGA files. I am actually going to break the game even more and make it more buggy than Blizzard. And that's because, you know, I'm dueling them at this game. I'm trying to win, and they're trying to win. Who's really going to win? I don't know. But just, just you wait and see here, my amazing product. It's on its way. It's almost loaded, okay? Just a little bit longer. A little bit longer. Oh, you know what? Yeah, maybe not a little bit longer. Maybe it's going to crash. I think it's going to crash. Is it going to crash? Hmm. Well, we'll find out if it's going to crash very soon. Yeah, here we go. This is my version, okay? And in my version, okay... The tree can walk in water, okay? Let's go. 
Well, let's go guide him over here. I want to see that tree walk on water. Okay. He's on his way. He's going to walk through this tree. Zooming is like buggy and like zooms you way too far in. Okay. And the tree can walk on water. See, I broke the game more than Blizzard. I am the winner. Okay. It's just the same. And the one step we're going to have to take after I do this is to actually get someone to join my game just the same okay and they didn't do that yet but they'll be doing that just wait we're gonna get them to join because my tree can actually walk on water okay yeah there we go that's a good tree hmm Look at that tree go. See, so this is how you actually play Warcraft 3. Is you actually, uh, you just try to be the person who can break the game the most. And that's actually the most fun. So people who play Dota actually are losing really bad at this game. Just hands down. Okay, I would not play the Dota map. Okay, we're not going to do that. I would make my own Dota map. Okay, where I was 50% stronger than the other people. And I would get them to play that map with me. We might do that, but we are not going to play someone else's Dota map, okay? That's right. That's right. I have better things to do than play their Dota map. Yeah, maybe sometimes we'll play along. Maybe not, you know? And that, that is how you play Warcraft 3, okay? For now.